Hi, fans of high quality entertainment. Hey, hey! We're the monkeys. <laughs> it's a joke. Hey, hey, we're the monkeys. I thought it. I thought it would start this video with a joke. Next time it'll be a funny one. Uh, so I'm not sure what I'm going to title this video, but it's the main subject, I guess, is the monkeys. But it's also about this five CD set series that's called Original Album Series. I think I've talked about it before, but like I said, this is mainly about the monkeys. And some of the five CD box sets I've got, and they're usually about $20, $25 to buy. I've got Man. I believe they're starting with their third album. Man is so good, man. So these aren't in any order of when they were released. Uh, be good to yourself at least once a day. My favorite, man, Rhinos, Winos, and Lunatics. And some of these are live albums. This is a studio album. And this did have a gatefold. Slow motion. This one I have to hide because uh, there's nudity. We don't want nudity on my channel. That's just called Man. And do you like it here now? Are you settling in? Really good band. Roxy Music. I, I got the deluxe version of their debut album, which I really love. And so, you know, instead of some of these were like $20, $25 each, and I, and I said, I'm not paying that right now. So I got this five CD with uh, no bonus tracks again, but that's okay. Bonus tracks are like a bonus. Flesh in Blood. Manifesto. Of course, Roxy Music started, you know, in the early 70s, kind of. It was labeled as glam rock. Even Sparks were. And I love, uh, there's a picture on the internet of Brian Ferry at a Sparks concert, and he's with Ron and Russell Mayo. That made me happy to know he's a fan of theirs. And Siren. So yeah, you know, if you you know go to Amazon or go to your local record store, you can always they're they're pretty easy to find usually when you know you're looking through CDs, you'll see it like that. Or just type in, you know, original album series and see what you can get for like $20. One of my favorites, you know, these, I, w I would like most of these in a regular CD format, but at least for now I've got them. I used to have all of Randy Newman's early albums on vinyl. I love Randy Newman. And no bonus tracks is a debut album. I love how they have <laughs> lyrics. Uh, you need a telescope. That reminds me of when I was in school. I was always trying to be a comedian. And I, I was in the science class. I went into the science class to use a, 
a microscope for something, right? And when I was done, I said, thank you for the use of your telescope. Joking, right? And, and the snobby woman said, it's a microscope, but not a telescope. Still bitter today about that one. My favorite, Little Criminals. Another great one. They're all great. Sail Away. And Good Old Boys. So yeah, five Randy Newman albums. Great sound for $20. You know, I was wrong. Uh, I actually bought that Mott the Hoople one. Somebody bought me, one of my viewers, kindly bought me the Traffic. Yeah, it was the Traffic one that he sent me. And it's so kind of you. Thank you. I love receiving stuff in the mail, but I prefer you join my Patreon channel <laughs> for $2 a month. The link's below. Be a nice Christmas gift for me. I'm just saying. Uh, so this doesn't have any bonus tracks. But it's got great albums. I've been enjoying this. And I apologize, I should, I should write down everybody's name that sends me stuff. But I do thank them and in the videos and I write to them. I sell them an autograph for half price off. It's a joke. And now we get finally to what I, <laughs> the main subject of the video. The monkeys, yeah. Uh, this was for sale a few years back, and I was going to buy it, but it was kind of running out of stock or whatever, and it was, I think it was selling. I've seen some other ones that are selling for big prices now, so if you want something, I'd grab it today instead of tomorrow. Uh, yeah, And this was selling for maybe a couple hundred dollars or something, but it's back down. I got this for $25. And the best thing about, well, besides the albums, they all have bonus tracks. That's right. I'll have, I'll have it here, if I remember. So the Monkees, the, the first one has four bonus tracks. More of the Monkees has one, two, three, four, five bonus tracks. Headquarters has one, two, three, four, five, six bonus tracks. Pisces, Aquarius, Capricorn, and Jones Limited has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bonus tracks. And the birds, the bees, and the monkeys has one, two, three, four, five bonus tracks. And I didn't even know that when I bought this. But it was like a it was like a bonus. So there's the monkeys. I, I remember, I think it was uh, one of the first albums I ever owned. And when did this come out? 1966, right? I believe. Let's get these, these ones in order. Of course, <laughs> more of the monkeys, which Mike Nesmith well, the monkeys weren't too happy with knowing that it was in the record shops without their knowledge. And then, this used to be my favorite, but it isn't now. Headquarters, which I still love. This is my favorite now. I was listening to it last night. Pisces, Aquarius, Capricorn, and Jones Limited. And the birds, the bees, and the monkeys. Which is not as good, but it's still very good. So there's the labels. So yeah, like the printing's really small, but at least you can kind of read it on the back, <laughs> sort of. And then 
the labels have all of the songs. So the other thing I wanted to say was, you know, the Monkees, they played most of them, you know, they're not a band. Of course, they weren't a band when they started the TV series. And they didn't play on, except for the vocals, they didn't play on most of their albums. But on Headquarters, they played most of the music. I, you know, I guess they had two or three other musicians, but they played guitar, bass, Mickey played the drums. And this one, from reading this book, which I've talked about before, long title, Looking for the Good Times, Examining the Monkey Songs One by One, I highly recommend this, again. And reading this, it tells who plays on, on each song. And on this one, this is the one where the monkeys play the most on. I was really impressed. They're, they're like uh, Peter Tork, he plays a lot of keyboards on this album, and it's so good. Uh, guitar, banjo, of course Mike Nesmith with his guitar. Uh, Mickey Dolan's playing the drums, and, and uh, Davey with his tambourine. <laughs> no, but they're all super talented. And they should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Don't get me started. Yeah, but this, this book goes into great depth. It's really deep, man. And it talks about bonus tracks and, you know, all of their discography. Yeah, looking at this, I, I think uh, Mickey played more drums on headquarters, but, you know, uh, What Am I Doing Hanging Around, vocals by Michael Nesmith, backing vocals by Davy Jones and Mickey Dolan's, electric guitar by Michael Nesmith. Words, vocals by Mickey Dolan's, backing vocals by Peter Tork, Davy Jones, and Michael Nesmith. Organ by Peter Tork, electric guitar and percussion by Michael Nesmith. Percussion by Davy Jones. You know, they, they played on a lot of their songs. They wrote quite a few great songs. The, the Monkees are great. If you don't like the Monkees, then I don't like you. I'm just joking. It's another joke. So that's it. Would love your thoughts on, yeah, if you have any of these original album series uh, sets and what you think about the monkeys and these albums. And uh, thank you for watching and have a great day.